So if you got a black screen, so you turn on your vehicle, this one's already been repaired, but you turn on your vehicle, you don't see a screen. But you do see, you turn on your lights right here, you'll see a little glow on the sides. It means your power's getting power to your LCD. But the LCD is broken. So what you'll have to do is you have to take this bezel off here from the cluster. And to do that, you want to pry right in there. You gotta get a flashlight and you you can see a couple clips in there on one one side. There'll be another one right here. Just kind of kind of pry it open a little bit and then you'll see the clip and you got to push that clip in and then kind of pry out a little bit and then pull on this and it'll pull this out and there's two clips there's one right here there's one right here and once you get these two clips free you got to pull really hard because there's two clips in here and then this pull right out there's four bolts should be one right up in there there and then two down in this area and once you get those out then the whole thing will just come right out just unplug it from the back this video is going to be a little shaky but so there's your top two bolts and there's your bottom two bolts and the holes are there that you'll have to take out that's in the car and here's the bezel you don't you don't have to take it all out this is one I got when I uh, ordered the replacement screen it came with this but, Right there, the two top clips I was talking about that you're going to have to pull really hard to get out because they're in there pretty good. And it sets in there like this. And right there is one of your clips that you're going to have to get in there with the screwdriver to push down. Take a, get a good shot at it here. Focus. But there's a little tab right there. You got to get that screwdriver on that tab push that in and then pull out to release it and do the same thing with the other side the other side's got one too all right once you get this out it comes out pretty easy you need a seven millimeter socket okay, I'm gonna pause it just a second here Okay, now what you're going to have to do, got these plastic clips, you're going to have to get this module out of, out of the housing. So just go around and release those plastic clips yeah, without breaking it. Just do it real gentle. Should pop out of there. There, I'm going to do this. Be right back. Once you got that module out of that, then there's more plastic clips. There's one here, the bottom, sides, top. You have to get those plastic clips off there. They come off there really easy. Just real easily pry on them and release them. And those top come out and we'll see the board. I'll be right back. Okay, once you get that, this piece off here, Comes off really easy, like I said. It's gonna be four bolts. There's one right here, here, one right there, and then one right there. You gotta take those four bolts out, and you got these two clips one here, here goes the LCD screen. What you're gonna do, see that little white right there? You're gonna release that.
pull it out. And then that'll release that cable. And then, gotta get that out of there. Just be gentle with it. There, that's out. We got this one right here. Same thing. There'll be two little things on the side. You gotta push forward and out. And then that'll release that clip. Pull that out. All right, be right back. I'm gonna pause it and take the screws out. Okay, once you got the screws out, just take this plate off, set it off to the side. <clears throat> as long as you got these uh, ribbon cables out, just pull it straight up. And out of your way. And then take this plastic piece here and pull that straight up too. And out of your way. Just remember which way it goes. Confused. Then you'll have your LCD screen. This is the only thing you got to replace. You don't have to take it to the dealer to have it reprogrammed. This is the only piece you got to replace is this LCD screen. So you want to get yourself a known good working one. Which I got one off eBay. And then just do the opposite for reassembly. You know, once you replace it, just put it back in. Put it back together. It's kind of hard with one hand. Put the board back on. Should be little pegs there. You know, line everything up to. So pretty pretty hard to not put it on right. But once you get this cable back in, be careful with the cable. Make sure those clips don't want to fall back in. These little clips have got to be out. There. There it goes. So once it gets back in, you, you can kind of see a little black line to kind of guide you. Make sure it's straight. And then push these clips back in. See, that's easier to do it with your fingers. Push them right back in. And there's two little black ones here. Get that cable in there. Just push these uh, two together. Lock it back in. And then just reassemble. Put the four screws back in. Put it back in your car. The back of this little clip here, so when you take your uh, screen out of your car, there'll be a little lever. There'll be a plug with a lever. You gotta pull that lever back this way and it'll release that plug from here. All right. And that should fix your 2012 or 2011, 13 uh, Chevy Volt display. Hopefully that helps you guys. Alright, thank you.